normal. What 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 is what is normal, right? Um, you know, in, in in listening to you know our friends around and obviously companies we do business with, you know, it, it's a theme of you know that comes up is you know we want to get back to normal. And I've often asked the question, I go, well, what is, what is normal to you? And 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 it's some version of the way things were. And and I was like, okay, but is that does that ever happen? And and the truth of the matter, it, it never does. Right, things always change. The the way we interact. Uh, you know, if think about construction. Well, the way the building was yesterday is different than the way it is today. And if you do a good job, it's probably going to be different tomorrow, right? And so, the, the context of life changes all the time. So when when I think about normal, um, I try to think more in context of who we are being relative to the circumstances we're in, um, and and where people feel like they want to look for a new normal. Oftentimes, what I hear is, I, I'm I'm stressed out about. I'm not sure what I'm aiming at. I'm not sure that I've got any confidence around enough of the moving parts around me to know I can aim at something with a level of trust that's comfortable or comfortable enough. You know, we all talk like th think pre-COVID. We say, you know, the one constant in life is change. And then all of a sudden we have all these changes. We go, oh crap, things are changing. It's like, really, seriously? Like we've all been conditioning ourselves all of our lives to be prepared for change. And so when things really change, there's this like, people are surprised. And so I don't know, for, for me, I always kind of look for what are the threads of commonalities that exist really? Uh, and, and, and for me, they're kind of two couple of, the couple of fold, right? What there is to do hasn't changed, right? When you're in business, it's you know grow your business. It's it's maintain your business, taking care of your staff. Like that's like all those are those are constants. They haven't changed. There is not a single evolution there, right? That relationship and and then when it comes to your family, is you know like keeping your family together, right? It's it's uh, it's being there for your kids. It's uh, providing them choice uh, as as they grow up. And so when I look overall, really, and look more broadly on life. Things haven't really changed. So those are just the methods. What I think about more the methods, um, what we have to do has changed. But in reality, the thread of what makes life life, to me, it's the same. You know, Frederick, you're 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 on target with what I've been thinking a lot about. There there really isn't going to be what you would call a, maybe an old normal versus a new normal. Uh, I guess the question being, are things going to go back to the way they were? And they they just aren't. Now, there are some companies that uh, we deal with that I believe are, are looking for it to get back to where it was. And I, I think they're missing the boat. When, when I go back into headquarters, uh, I've only been in there two or three times in a year. Uh, I go back in and we've got five rooms that have turned into video rooms to where we are uh, building content, we're setting up where our salespeople and our back office people can work with customers. And a year ago, we didn't have any of that. And so our new normal now is not making sure that our salespeople uh, and our teams are right in front of the customers. We're in front of them a different way. And that, that's our new normal. So we're, we're, we're not going to get back, you know, our new normal is going to be completely different than what we were doing a year ago or even six months ago. And, and, and I, what I am trying to do now is, is to focus on the individual employee. I've even gotten to the point where we'll, just to, to make them feel more comfortable, I'll just talk about where are we today on a scale of one to a hundred on how your job's going. Uh, let's put a number to it. What makes it an 85? What's the 15? Uh, what can we do to make it 100? And then, and then they, they get to a point where it doesn't seem like they're complaining. What they're doing is they're saying, this is what I need to be 100% satisfied or 100% successful. And, and then when we're talking like that, it, it opens it up completely. And you, I've gotten just so much more uh, out of those discussions. And I think the team has too because now we're looking together at what can help them be successful. And we're not talking specifically about the issues associated with a job. 
we're talking about overall issues that can not only help those individuals, but the whole team and the whole company. Just talk about where are we today on a scale of one to 100 on how your job's going. Uh, let's put a number to it. What makes it an 85? What's the 15? Uh, what can we do to make it 100? And then, and then they, they get to a point where it doesn't seem like they're complaining. What they're doing is they're saying, this is what I need to be 100% satisfied or 100% successful. And, and then when we're talking like that, it, it opens it up completely. And you, I've gotten just so much more uh, out of those discussions. And I think the team has too, because now we're looking together at what can help them be successful. And we're not talking specifically about the issues associated with a job. We're talking about overall issues that can not only help those individuals, but the whole team and the whole company. Well, so number one is listening to me. Um, I, I think I think the way we have to listen and and you know hear the 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 unsaid things, right? And 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 now have the courage to actually ask the question, because you probably won't have the time to get back to it in an hour and a half because you're on a conference call, right? You're on a Zoom meeting. There's again that that end of that call is is a pretty hard line, and people now have become, you know, yeah, I have a hard stop. Like, you know, those are terms that we didn't talk about before, right? The whole concept of hard stop for a meeting uh, when it was in person, we always had this pretty like buffer, right? It's not gonna go, okay, you need to leave my conference room now. I'm gonna, you know, there was not this thing. And so, so intentionality becomes really, really important. Listening becomes really important. Um, defining the purpose of the conversation becomes really important. Um, you know, expectation management. Uh, you know, I, I think people get really caught up into expectations in general, but more, mostly uh, people get caught up into the expe expectations they made up and that they did not communicate, right? I expected you to be ready knowing what you needed from this software, right? And the customer on the other side is like, well, I expected you to be able to ask me the questions that would help me figure that out. Us to say, we actually have a blank slate. And so now there's two ways to think about that, right? You think of a, you think of a blank slate going, shoot, I've got nothing. Or awesome, I got nothing. <laughs> and in, in my view of, of that has been, okay, so we've got this blank slate. And if I take a third party view of my life, of the company, of my staff, how do we create from nothing? And, and what that actually has caused for us is a sense of actually a lot less stress because now anything is possible. There's no constraints of a list of we have to get this done right now. The focus was actually a lot more simple. The focus was it's about relationships. It's about listening. It's not about we've got to find this one right new desk for the office, this right night new computer or we have to have this phone system or there was not like this kind of very like finite concern the concern was so much bigger that in some ways pushed us to have uh, deeper and, and and more often than not simpler conversations because all that noise just went away because we don't know if it's relevant so why even talk about it and now we actually are asking ourselves that question from a blank slate i think it's much more powerful and and, and i say okay if it were your best friend that was telling you your story, it was his story or her story, what questions would you ask? And what would be your advice to help them process that information? And imagine you have all the time in the world to have that conversation and get to the bottom of it. What would that conversation sound like? To me, that's what blank slate is. Yeah. And, 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 and it becomes all of a sudden, I would say, uh, freeing, um, also very confronting, because inevitably you're going to go back to, I am my best friend in this one. 
uh, and that's gonna show up and and it's emotional. Um, if it's not emotional, you're not digging deep enough. I, uh, so I think I think about the clean slate and and what I've been trying to do from a clean slate standpoint is to we're great with methods and procedures. Boy, we've got some great methods and procedures. But what I've been trying to do is get a specific group of the team that will review things without any ties. Uh, my my buddy at Ford, he calls it a master group. He gets with 20 other leading uh, for dealers throughout the nation that aren't competing head to head. And they get together and they talk about the best processes and procedures and the things that are really helping them win. And I'm trying to implement that with the team so that I'm getting a brand new look at what, on how we're dealing with things. And, you know, these guys are the professionals. These guys are the ones, this is where the rubber meets the road this is what I'm trying to do. And it's doing a couple things. Number one, I'm getting the professionals to answer it with no constraints on how we're currently doing it. And, uh, you know, it's, it's not bothering the person that crafted the methods and procedures. We're just looking at it, pulling it back, clean slate. How can we do this? Can we do it better? Uh, can we do it all together differently? And so I'm, I'm tr that, that's my clean slate, trying to have others come in and actually, I'm not reviewing it. I'm just saying, is this the best thing that we can do? And then I'm letting my experts attack it and getting a completely different view with zero constraints. And actually, I think it's a blast. <laughs>